Hello everybody, welcome back once again, uh, playing Chrono Cross, uh, at least I should say the remaster. Um, and I actually had to look that up, apparently, yeah, you just get the time shifter right away. <laughs> so I thought that I, I did something and, uh, uh, you know, got it uh, from, actually, because I, I downloaded one of the mods that was, uh, that I think touched up some of the... Uh, the movies, but, uh, and I thought, oh, maybe, you know, did that include something? No, it, you just always have it, so that's kind of cool, but, um, anyway, so we are in, uh, another world. Um, I thought that there was a way to, to see what world you were in. Maybe not. Uh, am I crazy? Huh, yeah, I thought there was something that was, uh, that was usually down at the bottom of the screen, or maybe that happens, uh, in a little bit, but... Um, anyways, let's, uh, let's head on into Arnie Village here and, uh, see what's going on. Well, no, you're in Arnie. What brings you to this quiet seaside village? There isn't much excitement here, but please relax and stay a while. Alright, I think I will. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome, man. I never noticed this before. So now this is a granny instead of a grandpa, right? And the poster is of Nikki and not Mickey. Man, how did I not notice that before? What a hunk. This here is Nikki from the Magical Dreamers. Oh, and they're called Magical Dreamers in this world, right? Instead of Radical Dreamers. Uh, as luck would have it, Nikki is holding a concert in the port town of Termina. There is a, there is a heaven on Earth. Uh, it pays to live in an old age. I can't believe I'm actually going to be able to hear Nikki's beautiful voice. Whoa, stranger, don't tell Gramps about this. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, I never noticed that before. All right. Stru's Viper Festival is going to be some event. They're going to have a famous traveling band there. See that poster over there? He's the lead guitarist and vocalist of the band. He dresses flamboyantly, but he drives the women mad, young and old. He puts on a powerful show, too. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end up making Nikki my, uh, my guide uh, for the first pass through the game here. Yo, stranger, have you heard anything about the group of thieves up on the mainland? Uh, no, I haven't. You haven't heard, eh? Where are you from, stranger? It's pretty big news, even down here in El Nido. Those mysterious thieves have broken into a bunch of houses up on the mainland. They're cold-blooded bastards. They'll go to any extreme to get money or jewels. This sounds like the exact same dialogue from the other world. Even the powerful nation of Corey can't seem to get a hold of them. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. We wouldn't want to run into those bandits. Well, wait, now he just said Radical Dreamers instead of Magical Dreamers. Okay, well, I'm, I'm confused now. Flower and Dream? Is that what that says? Flower and Dream? Does that make any sense? Flower and... Yeah, I don't know. No answer, it's just a pot. What do you want, Artie? Something just a pot? Fine, take it. Man, here. So instead of a barrel, it's a pot. Ice lands. Alright. Hi there, I haven't seen you around before. Are you from Termina? How's it going over there? I bet everyone's really excited about the Viper Festival. What? My poems? What are you talking about? I gave up on them ages ago. It was just a stupid dream I was obsessed with. I never did have any talent. But how do you know about that? Nobody knows about my poetry. It really doesn't matter anymore whether I'm writing poems or not. Nobody would give a hoot about someone writing poems in a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere, huh? But just remember, dreams do come true. Hmm. Do you honestly believe that? We live in the middle of nowhere in this tiny village leading small lives. Nothing's ever going to change no matter how hard you try. That's just the reality of it all. Sad. Yeah, um... I'm talking about my poems, leave me alone. I vaguely remember being able to, to do something with her. Um... What can I do for you? That was the cook that speaks funny, you ask? Oh, you mean my lesser half, my husband. He went on a journey to brush up on his cooking. I have no idea where he can be. <laughs> yeah, alright, well, we'll see about that. All right, and there's a cat here in this uh, this version of Arnie. Mm, looks like there's nothing under the bed. Oh, there is a treasure chest back here, though. With some tablets, sad. <laughs> okay. 
Sad stuff. Um, and what did I get from that? Yeah, ice lands from that, right? Yeah. Oops. All right. So let's uh, let's head back outside here. Yeah, I thought there was something we could do with the the lady with the with the poems. Hey, stranger. Do you know what's popular among the village girls these days? Bracelets made from rainbow shells. I want to get some for Kiki, but those shells are so hard to find. Oh no, if I don't do something about this now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Alright, so yeah, very <laughs> very similar problem, except uh, rainbow shells. Boy, that, uh, sorry buddy, but if I come across a rainbow shell, you're not getting it. Oh boy, am I in a fix. Yeah, and we can't really help him. son anymore. He hasn't worked in years. There was a time when he had his heart set on becoming a man of the sea, just like his old man. But look at him now, praying to that silly-looking doll day and night. What's gotten into him? What indeed. Ten years ago, my husband's friend lost a son. The boy drowned at sea at the tender age of seven. And soon after, the boy's parents passed away too. Such a sad turn of events. That's when my husband changed. Never did I imagine he would end up like this. His way of life has changed completely. I don't think I ever made that connection before here either. Um, so it sounds like this this guy, uh, you know, his life has completely changed for. I don't know if it's for the worse, but yeah, it sounds like the worst. <laughs> Daddy uh, spends his time downstairs. He won't play with me. He gets real mad if I go down there too. He didn't used to be like that. I think he doesn't like me anymore. Oh, <laughs> sad. All because Serge died. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, so here's Mojo. I don't know if we can recruit him yet, but we'll see. Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear or spent yesterdays and our uncertain tomorrows. How we live a meaningless today. This holy item, filled with prayers, protects us and supports us. Come, my brother, let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Where can you find true love and peace of mind? Within Mojo. Alright. Let's see here what, he, what happens when you use a shark tooth with him. A tooth from a ferocious lion shark, and look at the size of this thing. Judging from the size, this baby must have been a good 15 feet. Don't tell me you're the one who caught it. What? What did you say? Another me? So the other me became a fisherman and asked you to give this to me? What are you talking about? That's enough. There's only one me. How can there be another me out there? Sure, there was a point in my life when I thought about becoming a fisherman. That was a good 10 years ago, but I couldn't do it. I gave up that path right then and there. I just gave up. I don't care what you say. This is the path I choose, or chose, and I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now, would you please put that thing away and leave me alone? Huh. All right, so it looks like we can't do anything. No answer. It seems to be just a straw doll. Yeah, all right, so apparently it was too early, right? And um, we'll, uh, we'll have to come back in a bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's pretty cool, though. All right, let's see here. Uh, oh, hi, are you new here? Lena, I think she's on the pier babysitting. She should be on the pier. Are you a friend of Lena's? You could say that up ahead. Listen, don't be doing any mischief to them boats. A boat is like a limb to our fishermen. I guess outsiders like you wouldn't understand. Right. Wouldn't understand. Okay, let's check the pot here. The bucket. Search found photon ray in the bucket. 
Court House, keep out and beware of mad Hecrans. I've embarked on a long journey. Please do not come looking for me. <laughs> okay. Greetings, Sunny. You're a new face in this village. A friend of Lena, perhaps? You'll find Lena out there on the pier babysitting. Reminds me, the boy who lived next door was terrified of cats, but that was more than 10 years ago. That boy was attacked by a panther demon when he was very young. I guess it left an emotional scar. Poor, poor boy. I would never imagine such a tragedy would take place several years later. Okay. Uh, yeah, so referring to the surge from this timeline. Um, here, if we interact with the cart, there's a rainbow shell, but not for sale. Can I interest you in something else? Maybe. What you got? Yo, girl, what you got? All right, let's, <laughs> uh, let's take a look at her elements. Ah, uh, same, same stuff. Uh, I'm not going to bother. All right, let's check... Um, Probably the same thing as well. Oh, no, this is a little different. Library dagger and a spatula. I think that's like a copper spatula, right? Armor, same. Accessory, same. All right. Things come again. I didn't buy anything, lady. Looks like it's going to be another scorcher today. It hasn't rained in quite a while. I don't know how much longer us old timers can stand this heat. I wonder if those knights are still digging that hole. I don't know what those terminate knights are up to. I hear they're digging up Fossil Valley. I'm sure General Viper has a good reason, but why would they want to dig up a place like that? Indeed. You heard anything about the Alito Triangle down south? Everyone says it's really creepy over there. Some say you can even hear strange voices. Some even claim to have seen a huge glowing egg down there at the bottom of the sea. I tell you, adults are no are so superstitious. Try to act all tough, but that this kind of stuff scares them. <laughs> okay. All right, let's head on into Surge's pad. Push room. Room looks different. Surgy poo, Mama Surgy poo. Did you redecorate? It looks a little depressing. This room redecorated too. It kind of looks like a junk room. It's so dusty in here. <laughs> so annoying. What are you doing here, man? This is my island. Well, I'll let you rest here for a little while, man. No, I don't need to rest. Man. shut for the people who want to rest. Uh, looks like there's nothing actually in here. Sad. Huh? Who the? What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, alright? So go play outside. Who are you, mister? This is Sergipu's house, isn't it? Where is... Where... Oh yeah, where is Mama Sergipu? <laughs> huh? Who? Marge? Who the heck's that? Lived in this house for five years now. Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. Five years? Is that true, mister? Oh, shoo. <laughs> this is really, really weird. Never with all your gibberish, man. Just get out of here. <laughs> Just get on out. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I already talked to this kid. Yep, all right, what's this guy have to say? Ah, just haven't been able to hit a big one lately, you know? I'm not really concerned about the money or the profit. I just have this urge for a challenge. Come on, baby, I know you're out there. I need some excitement. Give me a big catch. Hmm, all right. Uh, no radius. Let's check this bucket, huh? The game is really finicky about uh, these, these um, bucket 
pockets and stuff. Uh, search phone, turn red in the bucket. fresh quality ingredients and then he complains about how terrible the food tastes. I can't stand it. Yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty rough. Every time I come to a decision, I always wonder what would have happened if I had decided the other way. Maybe I should have done this instead of that. Maybe I made the wrong decision, but luckily we have the record of fate. It tells us exactly what choices to make. I can't imagine life without it. Every day would be filled with anxiety and fear. Cutting in line. Back of the line. <laughs> you there. Back in line. Uh, the only thing the record of fate doesn't touch upon are birth and death. I don't mind really. I don't think I really want to know. More importantly, what should I see first at the festival in Termina? Should I go see Nikki's concert? The mermaid dance show? Hmm. What to see? That's right. The record of fate records everything for us, good or bad. So when the time comes for us to bid adieu, our life story will live on in the record of fate about how terrible it would be if you left this world with no record of your existence. Yeah, it'd be sad. Tablet behind the frame. Yes, you want to see the chief? Huh? Radius, who's that? Ganji is our chief. There's no one by that name here. You must be mistaken. New face around here. We don't get too many visitors. The name is Ganji. I'm the chief of Arni. Why don't you stay and rest a while? Can't offer any extravagant entertainment, but make yourself at home. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll exit this building and find the leader. Alright, let's uh, head on over here to the pier. Yippee! There's a uh, guy fishing. Sound of the waves does it every tr tr trickle sound of the waves does it to me every time. It makes me so sleepy. I bet the lullaby we heard in our mother's wombs was kind of like this. One day we will all return to, this, to the mother sea, embraced by her lullaby. Oh, well, that's nice. Mina, so this is where you were. How could you just leave us and go back on your own? Go back on my own? talking about Porsche and who are you? Have we met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? Oh shoot, what are you saying, Lena? Hey, yeah, you. <laughs> Don't be trying to pull any moves on our Lena, you jerk. Don't be silly. Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha. Kids. I guess kids will be kids. Kids will be kids. They'll do that. Don't worry about them. Hmm, you know. You look a lot like the boy who used to live next door to me. Um, let's say What happened to him? Uh, what happened to him? Why do you want to know? It's really not your business, boy bud. Okay. That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened ten years ago. Soon after, his mother passed away too. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well, but my mom says his name was... Serge. Oh, I'm Serge. You're Serge? Oh, stop that. That's not even funny. The boy is dead, don't you understand? That boy, I guess I kind of liked him. If that boy were still alive today, I wonder what would have become of us. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Serge is going to come back. Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on lost loved ones. Hmm, oh, good advice. You can find his grave up on Cape Howell. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. Bye, stranger. All right, goodbye, Lena. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, we are obviously not in the same world. 
Uh, let's make a stop really quickly in um, the Hydra Martians. Alrighty. Let's see here. Several years ago, when all the Hydra died off, this woodland became covered with a thick fog and the waters became polluted and acidic. Uh, but the real cause was us humans killing off the flora and fauna. I just hope we don't come to regret the destruction we caused. Speaking of heading into the deeper parts of these marshes, let me give you marshes. Uh, let me give you a piece of advice. The marsh, marsh waters have varying degrees of acidity. It's not enough to cause long-term effects, but if you don't wear safety gear, it will slowly deplete your health and weaken you. So take care now. Yeah, so running around in here, uh, not a good idea without the the right uh, protective equipment. Uh, what are you guys doing, walking around these marsh marshes in such light clothing? Damn amateurs. Expect me to save you when you die of poisoning. Well, I don't expect that at all. There's a tablet. Um, I'm just gonna run up here really quickly. I'll grab this other chest here as well. Bushwhacker. Um, and that's pretty much it for chests here, but um, I am gonna go in a little bit deeper and grab the safety gear uh, from the chief. And then we will be done with our little field trip into here. Actually, there's one more chest of here, I think, too. <clears throat> Electro Jolt. Another element. Oh, so here's the chief, uh, or the captain, sorry. Hey, 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 you gotta be crazy to walk around in the forest without protective gear. I have an extra set with me, take them. This way you'll be able to walk through the marsh without getting hurt. We got it! Safe here. Oh, and watch out for the monsters lurking deep within the forest. We haven't actually explored those parts yet. We don't know how to get there. I know, but we can't get there yet. If you want to go deeper into the forest, you need the proper equipment and the means to control those strange plants. That is exactly correct. Unlike the plants by the entrance, these plants have been completely mutated by the toxin. They'll whack you in the face if you touch them. I've heard that the dwarves who used to inhabit this forest used to be able to bend these plants without touching them. That is exactly right. So there's the hint that we're looking for a dwarf. Uh, but I think that, that's not going to be relevant until much later on. Alright, so let's head back outside. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll move on. This place looks wild. I always forgot how kind of crazy this place looks. Uh, I'm not going to do any of the battles with this place. Um, I just don't think it's really worth it. Maybe later. But, um, alright, so... Uh, next up is going to be Cape Howell. Okay, let's head on up here. It's Cape Howell. Oh, looks like we've got a chest over here. Electro Jolt. <laughs> Ooh, this is a little low from the uh, the marshes. Wasn't paying attention. Well, hopefully this will get us capped out on health. We'll see here. Uh, there is a boss fight coming up, so I'm going to make sure that I'm all topped off um, before I do that. And that does it. That top tops us off. All right.
There's some writing on the tombstone. Uh, rest in peace, our beloved Serge. Died at age nine. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. So you must be the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago, Serge. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, Poshul deserves it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, no pet abuse here. Uh, sorry, Junior, but we have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be a good boy and come with us. But Sir Karsh, do you think this is truly true, that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly perfect young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him. Hold your sea horses. Who the? <laughs> Out of the way, Missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Shut your trap. You're the ones who'd better get out of the way. <laughs> have a problem? Do you have a shaking idea who you're dealing with, Missy? <laughs> That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else this axe of mine will have to do the talking. Crying out loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm gonna kick your sorry asses so hard you'll kiss the moons. It's kind of like her catch catchphrase, I think. She says that a couple of times throughout the game. Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. <laughs> we'll see about that. remember who to start with, it probably doesn't matter that much, but we'll see. We're just going to go with the tall guy first. Sir! His innately innate element color attribute is white. Right, that does it. Quick, attack him with the opposite element attribute color, black. How unfortunately unfortunate. I do not have seem to have any, sir. You an income poop. You should always carry elements of every color. Which, by the way, this is, you know, a, a tutorial in, in some sense. That's all, basically all of the battles with the Shaker Brothers uh, are tutorial fights. But anyways, uh, then how about you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, sir, Karsh, show us how it's done. Useless fools. Er, real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. <laughs> so he doesn't have any any of that either, is what I'm, I'm, I'm getting from this. Does she have Pilfer? Nah, she doesn't have Pilfer yet. away here with fireball. Pepper. Actually, it looks like that's Pepper. Oh, crunch time. Oof. Not 
great. Not great. Alright, he's already slouching. Won't be long now. Dragon Rider. That is a really cool looking skill. I mean, extremely weak, but really cool. Down he goes. And there it is! The next star level. Alright, so Surge gets a HP, gigantic HP bonus, uh, as well as the girl or kid. Uh, copper axe, or sorry, a bone axe, a copper, and an ivory helmet. All right, so just uh, cutting in a little bit of footage here of um, um, a, a different set of drops that I received. Um, I, I had kind of forgot that Karsh will uh, rarely drop the power glove. Um, that first set of drops, I think I, I had a, a bone uh, axe uh, to drop from him, but I wanted the power glove here. Um, also, the other two, Salt and Pepper, will rarely drop Copper. Uh, so this set of drops, they dropped their common, but again, in the in the previous set of drops, uh, one of them must have dropped a piece of Copper. So again, I just wanted to throw this in here just to, um, I guess, show uh, some of the rare drops that can, or explain some of the rare drops that you can actually receive from this fight as well. Sir Karsh, I say we shake it on out of here so that we can live to fight another day. But these aren't no ordinary brats we're dealing with. <laughs> How dare you. Damn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Oh, I'm so scared. Be happy to take you on any time. Think I'll lose to scum like you? Ha! You alright, mate? Surge, your name's Surge, ain't it? Oh, me? My name's... Kid, of course. Just gonna go with the default names. Call me Kid. Nice to meet ya. Just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. They just pissed me the bloody hell off. I wish I could've beat on them some more. <laughs> Jay, a little violent there. Uh, but why was that mob after you? It wasn't really a mob, by the way. What do you mean you've never even met him before, eh? Ah, forget it. Actually, maybe that was technically a mob. I don't know what the, the number is, right? <laughs> hey, Surge! How about you and me team up for a while? That Karsh fella ain't just gonna leave you alone, that's for sure. And I tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on my own. <laughs> So how about it, Surge? Maybe it was fate that we meet up like this. Um, so, all right, unfortunately, we have to refuse Kid here to travel, and we may have to do that more than once. We'll see here. Hang on. Are you telling me you're going to refuse the company of a lovely, or a lonely, vulnerable, sweet little girl? <laughs> oh, jeez, when you put it like that. All right. Nope. Refusing again. Uh, and unfortunately, reason, the reason why we have to refuse her is so that we can recruit Lena. Uh, otherwise, Lena will, won't join. So uh, you'll miss out on a, on a character. You sure there, mate? Uh, you might live to regret it, you know. And we'll be getting her fairly soon anyway. Wow, yeah, it's three times. Jeez. Well, have it your way, mate. Heading up north to a town called Termina. It'll be getting dark pretty soon. I suggest you go find a place to shack up for the night. Don't want you to become heckerin' bait now. 
Well, see ya. It was terrible. They should be kind to animals. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some animals, not you. So mean. So mean. I'm so mean. Rise and shine, everyone. A new day awaits. I'm glad I found you here, though. Search, right? Uh, it kind of feels odd calling you that. You know, I have been thinking. Maybe you had some kind of accident and hit your head. That's why your memory's all messed up. You're really someone else, but you think you're the Surge who died ten years ago. I want to help you. I can't just leave you alone like this. And you don't seem like such a bad person either. I'm planning to go to Termina, right? Then let me join you. I have some errands to run over there anyway. And to tell you the truth, it feels like I've always known you. It sounds strange, doesn't it? Well, that's that. Shall we get going? We shall. All right, so Lena joined our party. And we'll just confirm her name is Lena. Okay, let's head to Termina. Oh, shoo, shoo. Full speed ahead. <laughs> Full speed ahead, indeed. All right, well, uh, I'm going to head on out here and save my game. Um, and then I think I'm actually going to do some uh, some leveling off screen. Um, I think what I'll end up doing here is going back into uh, Recruit uh, Mojo uh, here in a minute. But I want to do the, the extra levels here with... Uh, Poshal and Lena. I think I'm going to kick Poshal out after this uh, when I get uh, Mojo. So, um, anyways, uh, yeah, I think I'll end this one here. So, uh, as always, I hope the guide was helpful, though, and thank you for watching.